Hello, and welcome to Harper's SFX Makeup Tutorial. I'm Harper, I'm 10 years old, and I'm going to teach you how to do some special effects makeup. I like doing special effects makeup because it's just so much fun, it's perfect for Halloween, and you can do it for pranks. <laughs> Over the next few weeks, I'm going to teach you how to do some special effects makeup. Just like the ones you see behind me, like scars, bruises, wounds, and even more. I'm going to use a variety of different products, but I do not endorse any particular brand. This is what we're going to be creating today. Today we're going to start with a simple cut or wound on your arm. Before we get started though, you might want to ask your parents permission just because it can get messy, but depending on what you're going to do. You also might want your hair pulled back, a shirt that you don't really care about, and something on the floor, just in case you spill something. I'm using a canvas and some other fabric. For this week's kit, I'm going to use Craftobian Severe Drama Kit. And it comes with a bunch of supplies that you need. And we're gonna explore a bunch more kits and supplies that you need later next week. And I can tell you which one that I think I'd recommend. To begin, you're definitely gonna need some modeling wax or scar wax. And what is really helpful for this is you have, I have these little sculpting tools that I found at Hobby Lobby for just a couple of bucks. And it's really easy because you can scoop it out and if there's any clumps in the modeling wax, you can break the clumps up with these. So I'm gonna take this one because it's kind of curved and I'm just gonna take some out. I'm gonna say to use about this much because we're not doing a huge scar or wound today. Then you're gonna kind of just make sure there's no clumps in there with your hands. And once you make sure, you're just gonna form it into a ball. Before you put this down, you're gonna take some of your Vaseline and rub it around your arm or wherever you're gonna put the scar. Make sure it's very thin layer and you don't use too much Vaseline. This will help it make the scar wax stick better. Once you're done putting your Vaseline wherever you're, you want to do the effects makeup, you're going to take your form of the wax and go ahead and kind of push it down. I know that's going to stick to your finger, but that's fine. You kind of want to put the edges in and kind of blend it in, even though we're not going to do one that tiny. But you kind of just want to make it flat now. And the circle actually helps so it makes a better shape when you do it. Once it is about like that thin, you don't want to make it too thick because that'll make it look like it's not real and it's not a part of your arm. But you also don't want to make it too thin that, this, that the cut doesn't go through all the way. Once you've pushed it down on your arm, you can go ahead and kind of just blend it in. It doesn't have to look too neat, but you can just blend it on your finger for now. As you can see, it doesn't look too neat and doesn't look too real yet. But then you can take one of these tools. I'm gonna use a flat one. This is the one I normally use. I know it has a bunch of fake blood on it right now, but that's because I normally use it. Then you can go ahead, you kinda wanna put it in pencil shape, and you just wanna blend that in. You can blend it in really well so it doesn't look like it's just a big clump on your arm. You really wanna make sure that it's all blended in so it looks real. I know that you can see that it's all kind of uneven right now, but that's when your handy finger comes around. You're gonna go ahead and pat that down really, really quickly and make sure everything looks nice and there's nothing sticking up. Again, make sure that it looks real and looks like it's sticking in your arm. You can actually buy wax that is your skin tone or you can add foundation or powder or whatever you want. I have these and you can make it skin tone and put it on top so it actually matches. Sometimes if there's still those little bits, I'll just use my palm. Just make sure not to press it down too hard and too long because otherwise it might stick to your hand. So that's what I like to do. Mine was a little too sticky on the outside, so I went ahead and added some powder 
on the scar wax just to make it less sticky. I also have this, where I can pour it on there. Kind of pop it on and then mix it in so it makes it less sticky on the outside. Now that it's less sticky, it could actually be a little easier to use these and with my finger to blunt it in. But then I'm gonna go ahead and take this tool and go ahead and make my cut. It could be big, small, however you want. I'm just gonna keep on doing that and you can see that it kind of spreads apart. It can be as big or as little as you want. I'm gonna go ahead and take another one. Another material and spread that out. So now that I've got that all spread out, it's still a little sticky on the inside and I don't really want anything else to get all messed up because I'm gonna to be touching the inside. So I took a little more of that powder, put it at the end of the sponge, and I'm just gonna go ahead and dab in there. And it does not have to be perfect. And you can also put some around it. So next I'm gonna be using this. It's technically like Halloween makeup or costume makeup. And it came with the kit, but you can really use any. Like we have this big kit over here, which came with a bunch right there. So you can really use any. And I'm going to be using red, and then later on I'll be using purple. Then you wanna take a tiny, not too tiny, but pretty tiny paintbrush or makeup brush. You want to get just a thin layer of that makeup on the end of the brush. Take this out, then kind of just put it in there. This will make it kind of look a little more like the blood is kind of darker and it's more of an, I don't know, old or new, depending on what color you're gonna use. Make sure to add some of that red on the sides too. Now that you are done putting all the red around there, you're gonna go ahead and take the purple. And this time, you don't wanna use too much because you only want it to make it just a little hint of purple. Then you can kinda just dab it on there. You don't wanna cover, you do not wanna cover the whole thing up in purple because you don't wanna hide the red. Now that I'm done adding the purple, you can go ahead and get out your blood. I have this blood, which also came with the kit, and what's really nice about it is when you undo the cap, if I can get the cap open. <laughs> also, I could not open it because my hands were so sticky from dealing with this, so you might want one of your parents to help. Anyways, what's really nice about this is it actually has like a little brush at the end. So then you can like take it off, and you kind of want to make it as thin as possible, and. You can see that there's blood right there. You kind of want to get that off just so it doesn't drip. Then you can take your blood and put it in there. You don't want to do too much. Just for now, kind of cover this whole entire area with blood. You can get more then. You don't want to make it to fill up too much just because then it wouldn't look too real. dab it in there just to make sure it is completely in there. This is optional, but you can take your blood and a sponge. I have a long sponge and a short sponge. I think I'm gonna use the long sponge just because it's easier to kind of dab it on there. But then you're just gonna take a little on the end. Make sure there's not too much because you don't want that much. And kind of just dab it around there to make it look like it's kind of been running. You can use the end, you can really use anywhere. You can either take your red or red or purple before doing this and kind of put it around here. I'm doing purple. And kind of like that. And you can take your red and kind of make it a little darker. Just dabbing 
and little spots are red or purple. Because you can also make it with the purple look like a bruise. You don't want to make it a perfect circle though because that wouldn't look too real. So you can make some blood and red or purple spots come out of the circle. If you need to add more blood or more purple or red costume makeup, that's totally fine. And then, yeah, looks pretty good. And now for the most satisfying part, taking it off. And with the excess of taking all that off, I just use, like to use some makeup removers from Neutrogena. Thank you for watching this week's video. Next week, I'll be creating some paper cuts and bruises. I will also be talking about some different scar waxes and products that I like and you could use. Again, thank you for watching and bye. I'll see you next week.